Hello, welcome to Shan for Crafts. My name is Shan. I want to thank you for joining me today. Now today I have a very brief video. Uh, this is a video about, uh, now this, what this is, is a, this is actually the top to a cigar box. And what happened is, when I paint my cigar boxes, I take them, I take the hinges off, so I don't, so I have to get paint on the hinges. And this time I lost the hinges. And what happened is, uh, I was going to throw it away, but then I thought about it. I said, I can make something out of the top and out of the bottom separately. So that's what I did here. I actually uh, made, like, a, a something to hang on the wall, okay? Uh, I used, I made a little doll, and I put uh, some paper flowers on here. And I put a little quote in the corner. It says, bloom where you're planted. Let me zoom in on it so you can see it. Okay, okay, hopefully you can see it. Let me zoom in some more. You see it says bloom where you're planted. Okay, and that's what I, uh, that's, that's how I got the theme for this, uh, uh, picture. Okay, let me zoom off of it so you can see the whole thing again. Okay. Okay, like I said, I made a little doll. Now this doll, let me zoom in on the doll. The doll, I made this with a round body. Now, the last, last video, I used a triangle body. But this one, I made it with a round body. And I used the same pearls for the arms and legs. Okay, I put a flower in the hair right here. Okay. And here, she's holding a little flower with ribbon. Okay. And uh, this here is, uh, I like to call that, uh, this is a button. This is a button. I, it's kind of what I use is a white button. Let, let me zoom in on it. I might even do a video about that because you can take your buttons to the next level. You can dress up your ordinary buttons. You see the little button? What I did is I used a punch. I punched out cardboard and some pink, light pink scrap paper. Okay. Then I tied some pink ribbon into a white button, and then I glued that to the uh, the punch out that I made out of the scrapbook paper, and I put a uh, cardboard thin cardboard on the back of it. So it makes it, it it makes the button it makes it look like it's one button together, even though it's different parts. Okay, right here I use uh, some some uh, some bead trim and some pink lace around the whole perimeter. Okay. Let me back up the camera. Now, oh, on this side, I used uh, uh, some uh, paper flowers. I used quite a bit on this project. I used them here in the corner, and then I used some at the top corner. Okay? And at the top, I have another button that I made on the side over here. And at the top, it says, it says happiness at the top. Uh, and here's some more flowers and here what I use I use a pitcher You know them pitcher things it's hard to see because of the ribbon. Let me show you this side You see that you know those uh, things that you put on the back of pictures to hang them up with wire I use two at the top of that and I just put them in the two little holes that was already in here for the from the hinges from the cigar box So now I have a way to hang it on the wall now I want to show you the back of the project. Let me zoom the camera back. Because on the back I decided to do something a little extra. I was going to leave the back plain, but I figured I'd do something different with it. Let me show you what I did. On the back, I actually put tags on the back of it. I made, uh, took some pink scrapbook paper, okay? And uh, I made a pocket. And I put tags in there, and the tags, uh, the tags have ribbon, the same ribbon that I use for the, to, to, to hang it up with, I used on the tag. Let me show you one of the tags. Okay, and there's the other two tags. I put some white trim along the, the edge. Now, this would be a good idea as a gift, because you can make this for someone. Then in the back, you could put maybe a card or even some tags on the back for the person okay and this is the front side again okay and uh, 
that's all I had for that this way to share that with you. And uh, I'm going to have pictures of this project at my blog, which is shameforcrafts.blogspot.com. And uh, once again, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, God bless. Bye-bye.